Hello, materialistic minions. It's me, Bo Shevisu, coming to you today with this best-selling camera on Amazon. This is from Chortau. I think that's how it's pronounced, but I have personally installed dozens of dash cams in my vehicles. Obviously, they're not all in there. I actually stick with the best ones that I find and then, then, I, then I just leave them in there. Dash cams are an incredible invention that every single person needs. You will The first car wreck that you get in, even if it's not your fault, you will thank me. This will pay itself off five times over again. So let's start from square one and actually open up this box to see what exactly is inside. Maybe go through the installation process and hopefully I can impart on you guys some hints, tips, and tricks to get the most out of this dash cam. Let's open up the package and start from square one. First of all, this is your main camera, which you are going to mount to the suction cup. And then the main camera is powered by this cigarette lighter power cable okay and so that is one unit right there you do have to get a micro sd card in this case i have a 64 gig version you do have to purchase this separately and you will be inserting that into the slot right on the side right there okay now the backup camera it's this little guy and you will see that it does have the ability to either go right into your license plate holder. The, uh, one of the little screws goes in right there. In my particular case, I'm going to mount it up high. I don't really know why they give you an extra suction cup. You would think that this attaches to this. It does not, actually. And so this long, long cable will thread all the way to the back of the vehicle, and then this will plug into the front dash cam right up top in that slot. So that is essentially how it looks. Oh, and if you're wondering why the red cable, this red cable can be hooked up to your reverse lamp, they call it, or your, your when, you, when you flick it into reverse, you know, your, your rear view lights go on. Well, this right here will trigger this into backup mode, which evidently you can use this screen as a reverse camera. Uh, honestly, this is gonna be so darn small up here I, I, if I were you, I would just look over your shoulder instead of trying to determine what is behind you based off of this tiny screen. So the main purpose of this is dash cam. Don't necessarily rely off of this rear view camera as a way of actually looking behind you. Does that make sense? All right, let's hop right into the what installation. What I'm concerned about was whether or not the cable going all the way out to the rear dash cam, if that would actually reach. And yes, it does. It's about not just the length of my SUV, but I would say a length and a half of my SUV. So for the vast majority of people out there, the length of this cable going all the way back to the rear camera, it's gonna suffice. There's plenty of length. One absolutely imperative thing that you must do is don't actually install the cables and tuck them all away until you have tested this. So case in point, initially I had it just propped up like so. And I went and I turned on the dash cam. Turns out I had it upside down. So we are going to just prop it up here temporarily like that, just so that we can evaluate it. Now this is all the way under, all the way over here. And you will see that it's just going right through the middle of my vehicle back there. Eventually I'm going to have this cable tucked up all the way in here, going all the way along the molding. That's my old dash cam. We're gonna be getting rid of that. So you'll see that this goes all the way up front and my rear camera plugs into this camera right here. That's my old camera. And so everything is plugged in. That's going into the cigarette lighter. I know, again, it just looks like it's haphazardly hanging on there, but let's go ahead and turn this on so you can see what happens. Three, two, one, on. And let's check the boot up time. All right. And there we go. It is booted up. You will see that the rear camera, oh, I might have to adjust that a little bit. Get a lot of sky. See, that is why you just want to prop it up first, just to ensure you have the proper place. All right, so in my other video here on this page, you will see how you go through the setup routine. I'm not gonna plague you guys in this video because 
that's like a six or seven minute long video and going through all the settings is pretty mind numbing. But we're just gonna show you some quick sample footage of me backing up. That's my rear view camera right there. And uh, let's go ahead and click the down button to change that to the front. That's kind of a picture in picture. I pretty much just want the front, right? Oh, there it is, right there. Now, as you saw, uh, I did have screensaver mode on in my uh, setup video, so that will dim eventually. But let's go ahead and drive around town and take a look-see about how this works. And, uh, oh, I see a car going behind me right now. Well, that's handy. Okay, we are backing up. And here is a test of the actual audio. Uh, so let's say that I am engaged in a conversation in here, or let's say that I, I got pulled over and, and I uh, somehow have some cop who's trying to you know, threaten me or blackmail me, which has actually happened in uh, Nicaragua. I was there doing some mission work. And uh, in fact, <laughs> there was a cop who uh, insisted on getting bribed. Uh, something you should know about me is I'm a very stubborn person and my will is stronger than their will and I don't care they, they think that uh, they're gonna bother me and waste my time oh no no the tricks on them I will gladly waste their time if it means that I will not have to unethically bribe them so eventually we did uh, get let go but that was a little scary getting yelled at by a foreign police officer in Nicaragua with a uh, gun Anyway, but that, that, that's the joy of doing mission work. I, I really enjoy it a lot. So what is the final verdict of this dash cam? Honestly, in terms of quality, it's on the more cheaper side of things. If I were you, if I can afford another 50 or maybe 100 bucks, I'd go with something with slightly higher resolution. Right now, it's only maxing out at 1080p that's really not enough to identify license plates if you were to get in a car wreck. However, you do get the whole situation, which usually suffices just nicely uh, in terms of evidence, and it's fairly obvious who hit who if you needed to provide that. I would say the biggest selling point of this dash cam setup is the fact that it has an integrated rear camera. Now again, even the rear camera is not the greatest quality, so don't expect to be getting faces or, or, or license plate numbers or anything like that, but it, it does capture the overall uh, picture of everything. And uh, I would say that yes, I would recommend this. Uh, it, there's a reason why this is a bestseller because it's incredibly easy to set up. Uh, it's not the most intuitive to initially set up, but that's why I made that other video on the setup on how to unlock the screen and things like that. But I hope that this helps you guys. My name is Bo Shevisu. Thank you.